Before we go any further and integrate multiple control nets, I figured we could show you how to upscale your images properly using a tile control net and the ultimate SD upscaler node, which is the best method I've found in Comfy UI for upscaling images. If you do it properly, it works well. So we're going to start with the TT Planet SDXL control net tile realistic model FP16 2.0 version. You can see the download here. It's 2.33 gigabytes. While that downloads, what we need to do is, do we need any other models? We have Albedo Base and Bonobo already installed. We're all set up for SDXL. I'm just looking for something to do while that downloads. Once the model has finished downloading, we will want to place it into the correct directory in the Comfy UI models control net directory. Here's the directory, comfy UI, models, control net, and you can make it SDXL directory, paste in the model, and you need to refresh comfy to get access and recognize the new model. Anytime you add a model to the directory, you need to refresh. Now we can begin making the workflow. What would we like to place first? We are making a tile upscaler or a ultimate SD upscaler with control net. So let's see we will need to install the node for the ultimate SD upscaler. Let's see if we can find that node. Ultimate SD upscale install it's installing restart comfy We have installed the ultimate SD upscale node. And I am going to build the control net next. This is going to help me think what we need. I also have experimented with latent upscaling and I did find better results using ultimate SD upscale if I properly implemented the control in that tile model. So let's build the control net. We're, we know we're going to need the node apply advanced control net as you could see in my last videos about other control net types that focus the videos will focus more on the control net aspect. This is just more on the um, upscale aspect. You want to load in the control net, load advanced control net model, connect them, you can uh, find our TT Planet SDXL control net 
V2 FP16 dot safe tensors model. And now we need to have te text encoders going in, but since we're just upscaling, they're not really used, but it still takes that input and it will modify the blank input essentially. So clip text and code, we're using STXL, which one do we want to use? Uh, let's try this. We'll use STXL, clip text encoder STXL, one for each, negative, positive, and they, it takes clip we are going to load in an SDXL model you can also do this with SD 1.5 but you want to use different models for the control net of course we need to have a clip in so we are going to use the load checkpoint can also use load clip but we are going to just use this hook up the model hook up the VAE oh this this conditioning you want to go of course into the control net this is incorrect you want to pass the control net into the ultimate SD upscaler. Okay, you're going to have the image, load image, pass this model through, I hope I'm doing this right for you, the image I believe should be the same for both of these. The VAE needs to can be connected here. We're going to need a preview and a save. WAF save node. We will also need a upscale model loaded in load upscale model node now this is where we hit a wall we have to download an upscale model I don't have that downloaded yet maybe we can use in this example the model manager for the real ESRGAN 2x we are going to do a 2x upscale If you want 4x you can use 4x and you'll adjust accordingly
restart comp UI and we can find the real ESRGAN multiplied by two upscaling model dot pth extension file and this is going to take the image analyze it in tiles and what we're forgetting here is the preprocessor for this image this is this is incorrect you have to just go one step at a time things aren't always right in every place but you go back and fix them later you have to connect things just to think sometimes and, and go one step at a time with this to get anywhere at all or it'll just be frozen up okay what we need to do is have the TT planet tile simple node in between this load image and the image here and the image here goes directly to the ultimate SD upscale. You don't want you don't want this pre-processed tile data. We want the image for the ultimate SD upscale image input connection. Scale factor we're going to change to 2 for the 2x upscale model. This runs quicker and I don't really need a 4x size. It doesn't even fit on my monitor anyway. I don't have a 4k monitor. I have a 2k monitor. And let's see if this Before we run the workflow, let's take a one more look at the settings for the ultimate SD upscale and if we can optimize this at all. Upscale by is already set to, to 2.0. The steps can be increased to increase the quality of our generated it will increase the quality of our upscaled image. CFG 8 is fine, Euler is fine, denoise will leave, we're just going to leave many aspects of this just at default just to run it. Tile decode is good but it's going to take longer, we, we just want to run it right now. running I'm running the workflow and let's look at the command line as it runs it says Tile size 512 by 512. Tiles amount 36. Oh, th maybe this image isn't the best image. It's already large. Let's go back. Let's pause. It's running, but it's a large image. It's going to take way too long with 36 tiles. So let's find a different image. I have let the image finish upscaling. It has broken down the image into 16 tiles and a 4x4 four four grid.
the original image was 1024 by 1024 images, the standard SDXL image that I created this image using a low range app adaptation model for Gundam Armor. And let's see if it upscaled. Ah, it worked. The control net is the key to this upscale node. Without the control net, the upscale is less impressive. And this this looks good. You can zoom right in. And keep zooming. And it's not all blurry. And this this is zooming in past the resolution. So it that it actually is. I'm zooming in within the browser view uh, to larger than 100%. This is 100% zoom and it's you know large enough to, to be usable if you want to zoom or I mean upscale to a different resolution do make sure you change the scale factor here and the upscale by here you could use the real ESRGAN 4x model it will just take longer to do the 4x upscale and the results might, might have uh, some distortion although it, it'll be limited compared to without control net tile upscaling the control nets the key I hope this helps you upscale your images to something better as you create them I didn't want to go too much further explaining things without explaining how to upscale and, and make your images more usable and uh, impressive for others okay thanks from Alien Machine AI stay tuned for more videos